In order to create a Frappe app, we will need to run this bench command in our bench environment. Go ahead and type bench new app library management and then hit enter. We will be prompted with the details of our app. App title, library management, app description, and then email. We can skip the list by pressing enter and default values will be filled in. After the command is finished learning, a library management folder will be created in our apps folder. Open this folder and we can see that Bench has generated boilerplate files for our app. Let me explain the law of important files and folders in our application. Requirements.txt will list Python packages that will be installed when you install this app. Library management folder will hold all the source code of our app and inside it we can see public folder which is responsible of storing static files, the files that will be served from Jinx in production. Templates, as the name suggests, it contain ginger files that are used while rendering web views and www hosts web pages that are served based on their directory path. We can see also library management folder, which is a default module but strapped with our app. You will learn more about modules as we continue through this course. Modules.txt contain all the modules of our app. We can see patches, which are used to patch entries in the database, and finally, we can see hooks that allows us to extend or intercept standard Frappe functionality.